a big hello from Kelsey and me. And we're gonna show you how to make our lime poppy seed dressing. And it is awesome and it's so super easy. So all you need is a lime and we're gonna juice this because we need a third a cup. And then we're also gonna use the zest from it. And then a third a cup of chopped onions. You're welcome. A third a cup of oil, not yet, and a third a cup of sugar. So, what we want to do is get started. Uh, are we ready? Are we ready? Yeah. Yeah, we're ready. Okay, go ahead, put it in. So I just chopped them. This is a yellow onion, and I start with a third a cup. But this is my secret ingredient. Most poppy seed dressings are pretty similar, but my onion gives it a little savory kick. Okay, one third cup of canola oil. You could use vegetable oil, whatever. And a third a cup Mom, of... Mom, let me get it. Okay, okay, okay. Be so careful. Oh, you're scaring me. Ah, you did it. One little drop. Can you get that last bit in there? And a third a cup of sugar. Okay, so before we uh, juice this lime, Jess, I mean, Kelsey. I'm not Jess. You're not Jess. Just your mom, that's all. I don't know your name. Okay, so you want to zest one lime. And a secret to getting a juicy lime is to look for the smooth skin. The ones with the smooth skin have a lot more juice. So this should be a really awesome one. And my favorite tool in this whole kitchen is this, my microplane. We had a yard sale, and when it was over, we were loading up all the stuff to take to the DI. And my brother-in-law said, hey, don't you know what this is? And I did, but I didn't know how useful it was. So I am so grateful because I love that thing. Okay, so my other favorite kitchen tool is this juicer. This, you can't see it because the cord's not long enough. Well, maybe you can. Let's move this out of the way and see if I can stretch it further. Well, maybe you can see it. But anyways, it is awesome. It gets every last drop of juice. So, Kelsey, do you want to push down with me? <laughs> awesome. Juicy. Juicy. Look at that. We got every drop. So we want a third a cup. Let's go ahead and do both, both of them, should we? Good cushion. That is so fun. Okay, and then it's nice it has this little picture you just pour it. So we gotta measure it. Here is our third cup. She poured it in. Oh my gosh, that is exactly a Thank third you. cup. You're welcome. Hold on. Don't spill it. Can you well let's give you a big cup. Okay, so you can also use a lemon in this recipe. And I don't know which is my favorite, the lemon or lime. But we're going with lime today. So one large lemon gives you plenty of juice, and one large, really smooth lime well, is exactly a third cup. Well, thanks for watching. It's not over yet. We can't say goodbye. Okay, Kelt. Oh, gotta have our dried mustard. There is one teaspoon of dried mustard, Mom, and you one. could use um, Dijon if you wanted, if you didn't have dry. Maybe even yellow, but I don't love yellow. Okay, don't drop that in your hair. Ah, here's half a teaspoon of salt. I mean, not a half a teaspoon. That was a quarter teaspoon of salt. So, we're gonna blend this up until these onions are completely smooth, because you don't want anybody to know they're in there. And they'll plug up the little nozzle on your dressing spout. So give this a good whir in the blender. Here comes our ninja. Mom, mommy do it. Can she do it? Oh boy. Twist it. Okay, hit that button right there. Hard. Okay, I think we really got her good. So this last ingredient is optional. But it is poppy seeds, so they look pretty. You don't have to have them, but if you're gonna call it poppy seed dressing, I guess it's a good idea. Okay, so I haven't really actually ever measured Thank these. You. You're welcome. Do you wanna shake some poppy seeds in there? Just give it a couple of shakes. 
Oh, that's so pretty, huh? Thank you. And then you just stir that up and your dressing is done. As this sits in the refrigerator, it's going to develop a deeper flavor, but it's good to go right now. So to assemble the best salad, we like to use spinach leaves or filled greens. And then we like to top it with apples and strawberries, any kind of berry, blackberries. And what else is good in there, Kelsey? What do we like in our salads? Mmm, nuts, nuts. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to can do your own nuts. You can buy them at Walmart, but I love almonds, and it's so simple to candy an almond. So we're gonna take it on over to the stovetop, and I will show you how. Okay, this looks like a scary pan, but believe it or not, it is still nonstick. So turn your heat on to medium high. And then two tablespoons of granulated sugar. And I'm just gonna spread it out on the bottom of the pan here. Like that. And then I'm just gonna leave it until the sugar starts to melt. It'll start to turn like an amber color around the edges. And then once the sugar melts, you gotta work quickly, but we're gonna dump the nuts in. Okay, it's hard to be patient here. It takes a couple minutes, but I just cranked it up to seven. And now you can see where it's starting to melt. So when that happens, I like to use this wooden spoon, I guess you could call it, kind of a flat-edged thing. But I just move the sugar around a bit, try to get it all to start to melt. So I can see it's starting to turn brown in the center. So I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle this little package, says it's a third a cup of nuts. That looks like quite a bit. But now that the sugar is melting, you just kind of want to toss everything together. And you can see it turn into a syrup. Okay, they are super golden. And you can see that the sugar is still really wet. So spread them out into an even layer. And then I don't measure, but I just take a pinch of salt and just hit them with a little bit of that. And then you can actually toss them up again. So the salt will coat them everywhere. And that's it, super simple. So I thought I should show you my favorite ingredients. I like to buy the spinach, and this combination here comes with baby kale, so it makes us feel like we're being really healthy. But one of the tips to making this last longer, when I buy it and open it, I slide in some paper towels on both sides. And that helps to suck up that moisture, because that's what makes the spinach leaves go bad so fast. So I just keep it in the fridge like this, but I even like to combine this with some chopped iceberg lettuce, and that way the kids love it too and they're not eating straight spinach and kale. But I'd be fine with just straight up spinach mix because this is awesome. And then you've got your fresh strawberries and blackberries are amazing. The last apple my daughter sliced up, I let her eat two pieces and told her I needed the rest for our salad tonight. So there's our, I think it's a pink lady apple, crispy, sweet, my favorite kind. And then the kids love these little cuties so I throw these in their salads too and it gives them motivation to eat it. And then, of course, the best part, I think, are these candied almonds that we just made. So make sure you get enough um, salt on them. You've got the sweetness of the sugar, but the salt is what makes them stand out in the salad. So awesome. So that's it. Go ahead and try this poppy seed lime dressing and be prepared to wow your family and friends. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next week here at Carmel Craig's.